Hello and welcome to your uh, 33rd Django tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're actually going to take a step back. Uh, I wanted to create a control panel um, app that's going to hold all our um, administrative uh, functions. And I should have done that before the previous tutorial, but I got a little ahead of myself. So we're going to do that now, and then we'll go back to finishing up the newsletter. So let's go ahead and get started. Open up your terminal. Do uh, add the file and command python manage.py start app control underscore panel and hit return. <clears throat> All right, so go into your text editor. Wait for control panel to show up. There she is. All right, inside the control panel, create a new file. We're going to call this file uh, urls.py, urls.py. And then in your master urls.py file, we're going to create a URL. Now, we haven't... Um, you know, created a view or anything, but I, I'm kind of setting this up for a, for our next tutorial where we go and create this view, so we don't have to worry about doing this anywhere else. So URL, and then uh, raw string, and then we're going to call this um, um, control. Yes, yeah, we'll call it control. And then uh, include, and then we're going to do uh, control underscore panel dot urls and app name is going to be control underscore panel and then namespace is going to be the same thing control underscore panel there we go all right so <clears throat> now we need to go into our uh Let's see, control panel urls.py, create that file. So we're going to say from django.conf uh, urls import url. And then we're going to come down. And we haven't created our view yet, but uh, I can tell you what it's going to be called. So we'll just uh, throw that in now. So from newsletter. And the reason why we have to add newsletter this time is because it's not in the same directory in the control panel where we're going to locate our view. Our view is actually going to be located in our new letters.views.py file. This way it allows us to hook in in the future if we need to, um, say for another app. It makes it more portable. So that's why we're going with this route. Uh, newsletter views import control underscore uh, newsletter. And any uh, view that's going to go into our control panel will start with control underscore. That way we know where that view is located. Okay. So next we're going to use uh, URL patterns is equal to a list. And in here, URL function, we're going to do a raw string and that raw string and then caret. And then we're going to say news letter uh, forward slash uh, control. Newsletter, comma, name, and we're going to call it uh, control newsletter. Control underscore newsletter. There we go. All right, so our URLs are set up for us to access this in the control panel. Uh, one thing, though, is we don't have any templates. So I'm kind of going backwards than what we're usually used to doing. Create the view and then create the URLs. Well, we're going backwards because I want to be able to get this up and running as quickly as possible. So next thing I want you to do is create a new file in your templates. And we're going to do um, control underscore base dot HTML. All right. Um, then we're going to create a... We're going to create, so I start this video before and I had to restart it. So i going to create a new directory because that's still in there. Uh, control underscore panel in our templates. That's where we're going to put our control panel templates. And in here, we'll just create a view and we'll call it... Uh, 
control underscore newsletter dot html okay um easiest way to set this up since i really don't want to show you how to design a website i want to show you how to make it function we're just going to go to get bootstrap and get their um dashboard i think it's called get bootstrap and get started And we're just going to view page source, command A, command C, and then we're going to go into here, uh, control base, paste that in. All right. Um, now, see this table here? We're going to remove that table. So... Right below the H1 tag, it says dashboard. Go ahead and click on your div there. Actually, hold on. Not that div. Uh, right here. Uh, actually, let's click on this div. Yeah, let's do it that way. And come down and hit shift and then click here. Just click there. Do I got the full div up here? No, I don't. Damn it. All right, I'm just, you know, it's hard today. There we go. We're going to cut that out. All right, and you just go and paste it in your newsletter.html file. We'll fix that in a second. Come back in here, do uh, your curly brace percent symbol, control, oh yeah, control, block, content. All right, and then enter your block down here. There we go. Save that. Uh, go into your control newsletter. And the only thing we're actually going to keep in here is the ending div and the starting div. So we can take all this right here. Oh, we'll leave the H1 too. All this and remove that. All right. So it should look like that. <clears throat> then up at the top, all you got to include extends. Uh, the hell we call it? Control underscore base dot html. All right, close out your curly braces. Down here, we're gonna do um, block content. There you go. And block and block. Sorry. All right. So so far, we created a new app um, called a Control Panel. We we uh, set up the URLs from the master URLs and the um, Control Panel URLs. We configured that. Now we got a um, Control underscore base, which is going to be our base. Um, HTML uh, template and then we hooked in a newsletter.html document which is going to hold our newsletter for editing um, so for now we're going to go ahead and actually no we don't want this <laughs> sorry uh, we can leave the h1 tag in here but I want to take this copy that Put that back in your above your block content boom here and then close that div out down here sorry we don't want that in there because we want to be able to not have to include that in every view we'll just leave our h1 tag there all right so in the next video we'll come back and we'll start uh, creating our forms and our views to make this all work so i'll see you then